Hello, you're right. Here's a short video just to help explain what a flowchart is and why we use them. Okay, just think of a flowchart or a system diagram, as they're sometimes called, as a logical and orderly way of writing down how a system works. They're laid out in a clear manner from top to bottom or left to right. And to make things clearer, there are specific shape boxes that have different meanings. So you can see these different shapes. Um, if it's a rectangle with rounded corner, it's a terminator. If it's an input or an output, information coming into a system, and it's one of these parallelogram shapes. If it's a, um, a question or a decision, it's a diamond shape box, and any process goes in a regular rectangle. Um, here's an example. Um, if we look at and imagine automatic windscreen wipers, you might have these in a car. Um, automatic windscreen wipers have a moisture sensor built into the windscreen, and these need electricity to operate, obviously. When they detect moisture on the window, they send a message to the processor, which turns on the motors for the, the windscreen wipers. And then once the windscreen dries up, the processor turns off the wipers. So when the windscreen's wet, the wipers come on. When it's dry, the white windscreen wipers turn off. Now, if I wrote this down in a simple way, it would just be like, obviously, the power on is the first step. Then the sensor is, or the detector is sensing for moisture. It has to think, it has to make a decision. Is the windscreen wet? Now, there's two options here. It could be yes or no. If the answer is no, then the system doesn't do anything. It keeps the wipers off and then it goes back to the sensor. So you've got a little loop there. If the answer is yes, if the windscreen is wet, then the wipers are turned on. And again, this feeds back into a cycle. Finally, eventually at some point, the power is turned off. Now notice there are loops here. So one is going from here back and around. One is going back here and around. So the system is thinking to itself at this point. It's making a decision. That's what makes it automatic. Now that isn't a flow chart yet, or it's not a system diagram yet, because you haven't got the correct shape boxes. Um, at the beginning, remember, you need rounded corner boxes. That's for the power on. Where you've got detectors sensing for moisture, well, that's an input or output, so it's going to be a parallelogram shape. Is it wet is a question or a decision, so you'll have a diamond shape box. All the others, doing nothing, keep the windscreen wipers off, turning them on, they're actually um, processes. So they're in regular rectangles. And then finally, you've got another terminator at the end. So there you go. There's a simple example of how a flow chart is put together. Um, here's another one, just very quickly. Your night light. Um, first of all, it powers on. It senses if there's light there. Questions itself, is it dark? If the answer is yes, it turns on the LED. Notice I put that as an output there. If the answer is no, then the LED stays off. Okay. Um, and again, you've got some feedback loops there. So use that. Watch this video again if you need to, to help you do the homework, um, which is to create a flowchart for a moisture sensor or an alarm clock. If you really want to stretch yourself, try a burglar alarm. I've given you like an example template of how it should be written out in your book. Okay, give that a try.